Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel for another episode of our Manchester City career mode here in Season 6, which is going pretty well at the moment. Until last episode, we got some bad news. Well, something happened. The bad news is confirmed in today's episode. Julian Alvarez will miss three months. So he's going to decrease to 84, isn't he? He's already reached 85. He's going to decrease to 84, I'm pretty sure. But three months without Alvarez, when he's in such good form, when he's scoring so many goals, it's just a massive, massive disappointment. And that is a crushing, crushing news to our season because him alongside Holland or him alongside Delap is great. Now Delap and Holland together, I'm not entirely sure that is a, a, a partnership that will work. But it might be a partnership that we have to try in the end because Julian Alvarez is going to be out for a while. Onto the bench will go uh, Louis Cook, who could be the man to be in there really to really get up towards that position hopefully he can improve and develop as a striker maybe he can play alongside Holland or Delap in the future today's episode kicks off with a game against Lokomotiv Moscow which you will simulate away in the Champions League and then the four games in today's episode will be Everton away Chelsea at home which is an important one Lazio away and then end the episode with West Bromwich Albion away and that is how it's going to go and we come away with a 3-1 win against Lokomotiv Moscow. Lindelap opens the score in the 11th minute. Azurin scores for them in the 12th. One minute after, but it's Bellingham and Pau Torres that give us the win. 3-1 in the end. And time for our first game of today's episode. It's Manchester City versus Everton. They are down in 7th position. Well, down up in 7th position. That's not a bad place for them to be. They've won 3, drawn 1 and lost 2. We go to Goodison Park today. This is the side we're going to go with against Everton today. Van Sassen goal. It's Aarons, Diaz, Torres and Esperan in the back four. Bellingham and Grealish in the midfield too. Phone on the left. Palmer on the right. And the lap partners Erling Collins up top on the bench. Louis Cook, Kaiki, Gakpo, McAtee, Cancelo, Aitnuri and Fadinha. So Manchester City versus Everton. Goodenson Park welcomes us. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a very good game. They tend to give us a hard time. I suppose Mohamed Kudis will be in that start of the 11. Will be at striker. The man who always seems to score against us. No matter what. Revea as well. Signed from Juventus. Around 50 million in that Everton side. We have got the big powerhouses up top. The lap and Haaland. It's going to be interesting to see how they work together. We have tried them before. It didn't quite work. But here is their second chance with Julian Alvarez out for three months. So this is the Everton side we face today. In goal is Alex Mede, a back four of Celic, Luis Felipe, Lovato and Lelou. In the midfield it's Ducore and Revea, Palestri, Martial and Adam Klosek in behind Mohamed Kudus. That is a very good looking Everton side. Bunu, Saguara, Ikone, Sima Kanate, Anyao and Sims on the bench. So Manchester City versus Everton. And it's live from Goodison Park. I'm very impressed with that Everton side actually. The lap. Grealish with a strike, and Jack Grealish really snatches at that one as it's pulled back to him by Lionel Lap, and he's past the post. Rides the challenge there, Cole Palmer. No foul, says referee. No foul at all. What a silly, silly decision. Close set. Bellingham in there. Martial with a strike. Good block from Diaz, but how is that not a foul for Revea's kick? Good here, but Phil Foden's won it back in a brilliant position. Foden, oh, referee. Well, that'd be a red card for Luis Felipe if he was a Manchester City player on the counter there. I think we had a certain goal on. Everton have denied that. Bellingham. The lap. Haaland. The lap. Liam the lap. What a save, Mede. What a save by Mede. Keeps Everton at 0 0. Cross comes in. Haaland's in there. What a save from Mede. Foden. Palmer. Holland! Oh, good save from Mede again. Good play, but a good save. Holland into Liam de Lapp, and Liam de Lapp can't get there. Good ball in behind here by Martial, and that is half time, 0 0. An eventful game for us, but we haven't found that chance to finish yet. Even Erling Holland can't score, and that shows how well Mede is doing in goal for them. De Lapp. Great skill. De Lapp, brilliant from Liam de Lapp. Erling Holland with a chance and Erling Holland makes it 1-0 Manchester City. Well, good play from Liam De Lapp there. And he lays it into Erling Holland's path. Who goes and when he does go Erling Holland, you do not catch him. Brilliant burst of pace from Holland. Brilliant burst of pace and then a sm I mean the goalkeeper's got no chance the way Holland smashes that one in. Goal number 5 in 4 games in the Premier League for Erling Holland. And to Phil Foden. Foden 
Pass Luis Felipe. Into Holland. Into Liam. The lap with a chance. Oh, the lap usually scores them. It's the edge of the box to do core eight. Anthony Martial. Curtis. Good tackle by Grealish. Falls to the Everton man. And Ikone makes it 1 1. Well, Jack Grealish plays a heavy part in that goal. He first gives away a cheap pass from an experienced player, and then he gives away the ball in the box. 1 1. Everton level it up. From behind for a throw in. Oh, what a throw in that is. Chance. Through Pal Torres' leg. Still a chance here. Arriving is an Everton player. And we're now 2 1 down. Goal for Adam Klosek. Arrived and smashed it home. The lap's going to come off. And on comes Louis Cook. And on comes Gakpo for Palmer. 2-1 down. Throwing it away like that. No goal for the lap again today. Louis Cook through to Holland. Holland. Gakpo. Back into early. Holland on the right boot. Good save from Mere. Really good save. Holland frustrated with himself that he couldn't score there. The youngster. Why to Aaron's. This one in. It's a Grealish who's arriving. Cleared away. Gakpo. Holland. Gakpo. Grealish. Holland's in there. And the header is right at Mede. Oh, tackle by Luis V. Play aggressive defending from the Brazilian. And that is full time. A 2 1 defeat for Manchester City. Could not do it today, could we? Could not do it. Caught on the counter twice. And that's cost us. And that is our first defeat of the season. Defensively is what cost us today. Not offensively. I think defensively cost us. Well, that defeat to Everton puts us in second place in the table. One point behind league leaders Chelsea, who we face today at the Etihad. We welcome them. Three points is crucial here. This aside for Chelsea today. Van Sassen, goal. It's Cancelo, Diaz, Torres, Nes Brown in the back four. I'm actually thinking of putting him anything there. We've got Grealish and Roger in the midfield too. Gakpo on the left, Ford on the right. The lap and Erling Haaland up top. So here at the Etihad for our second game of today's episode, Manchester City versus Chelsea. A week aside today, a couple of players not on the bench. Louis Cook, of course, Julian Alvarez, who's going to miss quite a lot of game time for us, which is a big shame with that three-month injury. And we welcome the league leaders here, captain by Bukayo Saka. And, you know, the, the, the whole team, the spine of the team, starts with the goalkeeper. He's one of our ex-players, Edison. Bit of a traitor, really, to join a rival that was a title rival in a title race. In the end, we won it, and he didn't. But uh, I was very disappointed with Edison, and we face him again here today. This is the Chelsea side that league the table. Edison starts and goes. It's up Meccano, Zagadou, James and Bemba and Chilwell in that back five. Kai Havertz and Ryan Gravenberg in the midfield, too. It's Aralano, Werner and Bakayo Saka. The front three on the bench. Galini, Walker-Peters, Kante, Dawin, Nunez, new signing. Malang Sar, Kovacic and Amaj as well. Over to Haaland. Takes it down. Haaland on the volley. Good shot. Good save from Edison. That was a good chance to start the game. Two, three minutes in. Haaland. Down to the lap. Oh, good save from Edison again. Haaland. Through to Gakpo. What a pass. Cody Gakpo on the right foot. Smashed in by the Dutchman. But the offside flag is up against Cody Gakpo. Holland, Cody Gakpo, Gakpo, Foden, Liam Delap, what a save by Edison, what a save by Edison, that is ridiculous, Chilwell, still Ben Chilwell, Gravenberg, good footwork from him, Chilwell, Saka, looks for a cross in, deflects, Aralana, Werner with a strike. Good block by Diaz and him and away. Oh, and Diaz makes a foul. It's going to be nil-nil again. This hasn't been a successful episode, really. If we do get a defeat here again. And for nil-nil at half-time, Van Sats with a strong pair of hands to keep it this way at half-time, possibly. Chelsea with another chance yet. Swing in by Gravenberg. Gakpo away. Aralana's in there. Referee blows that half-time whistle. Well, the same happened with Everton. We went 1-0 up at the start of the second half and then threw it away. 2-1 defeat allowed Chelsea to go top of the table. A draw here would not change the top of the table at all. We need a win, really, to leapfrog Chelsea into first. Half-time, Manchester City nil, Chelsea nil. Do the business here. Chelsea may feel 
You know what a draw will do is this Cody Gakpo. Brings up Meccano. Oh, great skill by Gakpo! And a block by Ryan Gravenberg. But brilliant from Cody Gakpo. Orellana takes it down. Looks to go inside. Can tell who read that all the way. And Esbrand dives in on Havertz. Rodri couldn't afford to dive in. Havertz with a strike from range. And a save from Dutchman Van Sass. And where's the number 10 here at Chelsea now? Havertz! Good save from Van Sass again. Well, we were all over Chelsea in the first half. They're all over us in the second half. Saka, cross in. Header! Oh! Off the line. Jimenez away to Grealish. He's waiting for runners here. And he does get a runner in Liam Delap. The lap against Reese James. Oh, and the lap can't beat Reese James. Why to Gakpo at the far post? It wasn't an aimless ball, really. Just swinging it in. Foden. Holland arriving! Oh, Erling Holland has made it 1 0. What a ball by Phil Foden. And Erling Holland has made it 1 0 Manchester City. Great goal from Holland. Lifted over top by Foden here. I saw him make this run. And with the head, it's a finish. It's same power for Foden, I don't think so. Edison can't keep that one out. He's six in five games for Holland now. And one that will lead Chelsea. Brilliant goal from Holland. Let's hope it stays this way. I'm worried about Rodri getting sent off, actually. Have a ball through here. Werner, chance! What a bit of defending that was. What a bit of defending by us. Looked like relegation candidates defending like that. Just stood off. Werner lets him turn. I mean, it's a wonderful finish, but what is that defending? I think Gakpo for Palmer. No, I don't even think that's a good substitution. Rodri for Bellingham, I think, is the best one. What is that bit of defending? Clean sheet can't be kept. Van Sass, no chance. Jimenez just stood off them. Away from Werner. Chelsea get everyone back defending, don't they? Cancelo. Oh, he falls to. Liam the Lap. What a strike from Liam the Lap. Who gives us a 2 1 lead here against Chelsea? What a strike from the Lap. Good ball from Cancelo. Finds the Lap in behind. Makes the move brilliantly on the chest. Past Reese James. And bang past Edison. Grealish for Gutierrez. They said the substitutions we made. Good goal for Liam Delap. Off comes the number 10. 2 1 we lead now. 76 minute goal from Liam Delap. Can we hang on though? Can we defend? That's a Saka. Havertz once more. Wide he goes. On Meccano. Haralana. Werner with a chance. What a save by Van Sass. Werner should score. I mean, he scored a bullet, Werner. And then he can't score from two yards out. He's going to be disappointed. Gakpo's off of Palmer. Gets bodies back in defensive positions. Jimenez then heads it away. Foden. Takes it down. Foden doesn't need any more. Manchester City 2, Chelsea 1. After the defeat to Everton, that's a big, big win. Because it puts us top back of the Premier League table. And that was necessary. Good win. Wonderful goal from Lena Lap. Him and Holland are starting to learn each other's play, aren't they? Really are. We sit top of our Champions League group on six points. Lazio with four. A win against them today away from home in Italy. Will really, I think, confirm us pretty much through well, was it really? One more win after that and you are through then. Well, a lot of tired legs on this side, so we've had to switch up the team massively for today's game. Mickey Van Sass starts in goal. It's Aaron's, Diaz, Torres, and Ike Nuri in the back four. Rodri and McAtee in the midfield too. It's Palmer on the left, Kaiki on the right. And it's Liam Delap and Louis Cook up top. Haaland, Redondo, Gutierrez, Bellingham, Cancelo, and Bete and Fernandes on the bench. I think Redondo will probably come on for Delap, who's tired. And uh, I think we'll probably get Bellingham and Gutierrez in there. Or and Bete, one of those, well, two of those three will come on in today's game. So Champions League action, Lazio versus Manchester City, or Latium as they called on this. I think Kaiki did spend a bit of time on loan at Lazio at some point in this save, didn't he? Uh, now he's starting against them. We need to get Kaiki playing a bit more. Um, I have got high hopes for him this season. Like I said, I've given the number 11 a shirt. Uh, Luca Romero, I think that is the captain for Lazio. The young Argentinian who is, I think, about 90 rated now. He's grown rapidly. And Louis Cook makes his first ever Manchester City start. I'm excited to see these young lads. Redondo off the bench as well could happen. We've got a brilliant team here at Manchester City, a brilliant squad, and we're going to have to use it fully if we're going to be winning this competition this season. So this is the Lazio side we face today. Some very well-known names in there. On the bench, uh, Mariki, 
Lucas Nemetra on the bench for the next City players. So it's Tekken in goal. Hisai, Fabinho, Manolas and Grimaldo in the back four. But Badashele, Amrabari and Luca Romero in the midfield three. It's Josh Sargent up top. Cliver on the right. And Trossard on the left. Tekken, the goalkeeper. Never heard of him. Manchester City versus Lazio. They're on four points. We're on six in this Champions League group stage after two games. It's live from Italy. Cliver, Palmer across. Ooh, nearly given away to Kaiki to get away with it. Romero with a ball over top here. What a ball to Josh Sargent, who hits one, the American. And it's a save by Van Sass, but Romero looks very lively so far. Very, very lively at the start of this game. Reese's play on Josh Sargent still. Rodri the foot in, Sargent. Chance here for Lazio. 1-0 down, clean sheet gone again. And that is shocking defending. It comes from a stupid pass at the other end, like it always does. One stupid pass costs us. Lazio go up the other end, and that's a cracker into the top corner by their midfielder. It's a goal for Amrabari, the Uruguayan, and we're 1-0 down here. That is a stupid pass from McAtee, who, who wants to be playing more games, but he won't be playing games if he's passing like that. Just be, got to be so much more careful. Him and Palmer know each other well, but that was poor. Palmer. Oh, that's a red card for Husai. It's not even a yellow card. Past Pau Torres. Good work. It's Kleiber, actually. Good work from him. Sargent. Past Diaz. Across the box. 2-0 Lazio. It's a goal for Trossard, the ex-Brighton man. And we're 2-0 down here in Italy. And well, we're going to have to come back from 2-0 down to win. Mickey Van Sass. All alone in that. His defenders have left him to it. And they have done a few times. Oh, my word. The passing. He's insanely poor. What is going on? We need to get someone who can pass a football. Lazio still come forward. Aaron's is back. 3-0 is it? No, Pau Torres with a block. Still here. Aaron's with a foul. Penalty Lazio. This goes from bad to worse here in Italy. This goes from bad to worse. Luca Romero won't miss. I can't see it. The captain. Romero finishes it past Van Sass with 3-0 down. What can I say? What can I say about the defence? It's just been shocking. De defending so, so poorly. And we've been torn apart here. Absolutely torn apart by a better side. It will go top of the Champions League group by one point with a win here. Good turn from the Brazilian. Good play from Kaiki. This is what we expect from him. Into McAtee. Oh, McAtee gives the ball away again. Half time against Lazio. 3-0 down. I tell you what, you're watching me make the change now. McAtee off. We're going to bring on. Who do we bring on? Good to Yerith. I think he's a better passer, isn't he? He's got better passing than Jude Bellingham. Good to Yerith going to come on. Hopefully, can change this game around in the second half. Palmer down. Kaiki. Good touch. Kaiki, brilliant. The lap. We've got runners here now. Good to Yerith. He's through. He's offside, the Spaniard, the lap too late in the pass. It was the other way around. I think he would have seen a goal. His first ever start for Manchester City. A 3-0 defeat. He won't be happy with that. Aaron's. Oh, the lap had made a bit of space for himself. The far post to call. Palmer arriving. And Palmer heads it at six foot wide there. Rodri. Lovely cook. Good to Yedeth. Palmer with a strike. Good save. Cleared away. Redondo can't get there. Oh, he has got there. Brilliant. Redondo. In towards Palmer into the goalkeeper's hands. But Redondo's come on. About to go on a six-month loan, isn't he? To Valencia. But he's come on here. I mean, brilliant. Aiki. Brilliant from Cook. Riding challenges left, right and centre. Oh, Kaiki, great ball. Redondo! Redondo's not a striker. And he shows it there. Great save by the goalkeeper. Cook with a swing in. Bellingham attacks it. Diaz on the volley. Oh, off the line. Wonderful volley from Ruben Diaz as well. Redondo loses the header. Not enough. Gutierrez. Palmer. Back to Gutierrez. Let's it run. Onto his right foot. Gutierrez. Second chance at it. And blocked away. And that is full time. Lazio 3, Manchester City 1. What a shocking performance from City there. The lads didn't impress at all. At all. Just defensively so poor. And offensively offered nothing really. 
Well, it's final game of today's episode time. Today it is against West Bromwich Albion, down in 15th place away from home. We want to stay top of the Premier League table. We see their top scorer is Alvarez with five, and he's not played in how long. The Lap and Haaland with six and seven goals between them. West Brom should be a game we are winning. This aside for West Brom today, Mickey Van Sass starts and goes. It's Cancelo, Captain Diaz, Mbete, and Esbron in the back four. Grealish and Bellingham in midfield too, with Gakpo on the left, Fone on the right, and the Lap partnering Erling Haaland up top on the bench. Kaiki, Makati, Gutierrez, Rodri, Ahrens, Pau Torres, and Farinhas. So welcome to the Hawthorns, Manchester City versus West Bromwich Albion. A side that are a bit of a yo-yo side in the Premier League, aren't they? Come up and down for fun. And we face them in our final game of today's episode. Looking to stay top of the Premier League table. And a chance for Luke Mbete to impress at the back. He gets one of his, I think he's probably his first start of the Premier League season. Which is very good to see. Uh, he is a top player and he's going to be, you know, a top player for our future. So this is the side for West Brom. Griffiths starts single. It's a back five of Garner, Hickman, Keen Bryant, Kipri, Javi Sanchez and Gavroy. Louis Cook and Evander in the midfield. And then it's Kalmidou. Podence and Omer, the front three. Silvestri, Lombarda, Ben Brighton, Diaz, Bullock, Romeo Lavia, Callan Grant, but Romeo Lavia on the bench. Hope to see him come on and play against us really today. So Manchester City versus West Brom. It's live from the Hawthorns. City tends to have a tough game here at the Hawthorns, but I expect a clean sheet today. As we regularly do here. Foden. Oh, well done, Phil. Counter City here. Foden. Oh, he's still got it here, Phil Foden. Oh, referee. Well, that's a foul on Phil Foden, isn't it? That's not been given for some reason. And they get away with that, West Brom. Long switch of play, which S. Brand Reasley usually does. Gakpo. Play so deep. I'm struggling. Grealish, big tackle on him and a good challenge. Mbete's left space. Tried to cut it out with a slide. S. Brand, skip pass. Chance here. Good save from Mickey Van Sass, who pushes it with power to one side. Nearly losing my voice there. The lap's going to find. Cancelo. What a ball for Liam Delap and a good save by the goalkeeper. Wow. That was a great ball from Cancelo. Really swings one in. Diaz. Haaland's there. I was thought he could tap that one in. Foden. Grealish. Shaw with a hit and save by Griffiths. And that is half time. City nil. West Brom nil. For the third time today, we go in at 0-0 at half-time. Yakpo. Haaland surely quicker than the defender. Haaland! Oh, good save from Griffiths. Ball in behind to Irma. Every team plays sort of the same way against us. Rarely keep it. Liverpool are a bit different. They all just want to not really keep possession, but it is on the counter. Evander! What a strike! Another goal conceded. Another goal conceded. Evander hits a rocket. Absolute rocket in the top corner. Van Sass has no chance. What a finish from Evander. And West Brom down in the bottom. Take the lead against us. It's been one of those episodes, really. It really has. Defensively, we've had a shocker today. Foden. Hesbrand. Well played. Foul there, Josh Wilson, there's Brand. And a second yellow for Irma and he's off and that could change the game completely. We rarely, rarely see do it. We rarely see that. But he fouls there's Brand. And I forgot, he is on a yellow card. And it's a second one for him and that could change the game completely because we're playing 10 men now. And a poor, poor pass. Holland wins it back. Gakpo. The lap. Into Foden. Oh, and again a bit of defending that keeps it for West Brom. Holland with a chance here, deflected goalkeeper, what a save. And they get it away. How are we not scored? Gakpo off. Kaiki on. Here's the Brazilian. Kaiki, what a run. Kaiki, what a run from Kaiki. Comes off the bench and immediately scores the Brazilian. Well, what a super sub he is. On he comes. West Brom, they're confused, they don't know what to do. And Kaiki right-footed finish into that far corner. His first of the season, I believe. 76 minutes with level. And we now can go on and win this game against the 10 men. Jude Bellingham, Erling Haaland. The lap, that is a terrible first touch from the lap. Ball in behind here. Chance for them to get the winner. Pass Van Sass. 
Oh, and 10 men of West Brom have done it. Brilliant from Carl and Grant, is it? The 10 men of West Brom have gone and done it. Why didn't Van Sass bring him down? 2 on West Brom as we search for the winner. They score the winner. The lap wide to Phil Foden. It's a brilliant pass. Foden. 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 The lap's in there. Cleared away again. Bellingham down. Grealish there. And that is full time. And that ends today's episode. What a shocking episode for last minute winners. A defeat to Everton. A defeat to West Brom. I'm shook by that. I'm absolutely shook by that. And I think the team is as well. Please do join our We Are City fan club if you're not joined already for exclusive content. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I, I can't believe it. That's it. Can't believe that's how we've ended the episode. We'll see you guys next time.